Hey, morning everyone. Welcome to another play session with me. And I'm going to continue with my palette from Mother Nature that I started a few days ago. You remember that I tried to assemble colors um, just found in nature and colors derived directly from minerals, stones, um, natural ingredients, you know, mined from nature. So I've shown you last uh, week, you know, the hematite colors here. So we have hematite, hematite burnt scarlet and hematite violet. So today we're going to do another uh, four and you will find that they are also quite interesting. They are all the cooler blue range. So I'm going to show you uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise, um, blue appetite, cayenne night and also garnet genuine. All right. And just to give you a Gonna taste of the colors. So we're gonna look at Garnet. We're gonna look at Sleeping Beauty. We're gonna be looking at Blue Appetite Genuine and also Care Night Genuine. So those are for my favorite colors, and I think you will like them. And I attempted to use them um, also a few days ago in one of my sketch. And you can see here all the blues are actually Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Um, they're really nice and soft and they granulate beautifully. So this is done on a hot press paper, so you'll find that the granulation will be a lot softer, okay, not as aggressive. And also some of the Kayanite. Oh no, sorry, this is Garn Garnet Genuine. It's a big gray, uh, reddish, orangey color, and it really complements the blue very well. Right. So I'm gonna now um, show you what we're gonna do today. So we've got the blue, uh, Sleeping Beauty. We've got the Garnet Genuine. We've got the Blue Appetite and we've got a Kyanate Genuine, right? So I do suggest that if you are going to squeeze um, these colors into your pan and let it set, it's good um, practice or idea to actually wet it and let it soak up the water for you know, a couple of minutes before you start uh, using them. If not, they're going to be quite difficult to um, pick up and also you risk ruining your brush as well. Let's start with Sleeping Beauty. So pardon me for the noise that you hear around me. All right, I live next to the road, so it can get quite noisy. So I'm um, just going to read off um, what Daniel Smith says about this color. Uh, it's a unique vibrant blue. This gemstone comes from the Sleeping Beauty Mountain in Arizona. And it's light, fast, permanent, transient color fade that plates most turquoise, but this color is very light, fast. It's a nice granular wash. Okay, so I'm going to show you what Sleeping Beauty looks like. So I'm going to use it directly from the pan. Okay. So now that the color is nice and moist, you can see that you know it's going to be picked up quite easily, re-wet by my brush. Now let's see if we can introduce some water. Let's look at movement dispersion. Yeah, it does move quite well. So I like this color because you know it's it's really understated, soft, and maybe some of the buildings that we have in uh, Southeast Asia, some of the shop houses. And you can see it's it's got really nice um, granulation happening. It will dry a little lighter as well. All right. So that's uh, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. Now we're going to look at uh, Blue Appetite Genuine right now. So this is another favorite color of mine. All right. So this one will do it slightly differently. So I'm gonna lay out the lay down the water first. So we want the paper to be nice and wet. And you should see it glistening. You may need more water if you are using um, more absorbent paper. Now that I picked up the color, I'm gonna just let it touch. Again, it, you can see that it is moving a lot slower than Sleeping Beauty. I'm going to assist it slightly. 
drop it some water as well. And let's see what Daniel Smith website has to say about this color blue appetite genuine this is a gorgeous color striking mineral that is rarely used in jewelry because it's too soft but you know as an artist pigment it's fantastic it's dense rich midnight blue that granulates magnificently on cold or hot pressed paper and within a wash you'll see nuances of the color review it can be a uh, very inky black all the way to rich prussian blue like blue and it's wonderful for a stormy sky and one juicy wash and you can see why it's a nice favorite color of mine so you get all that black deposits you get the separation of the blues and as it continues to dry you see it you know morphing and changing now let's look at the next color which is kyanite genuine this is one color that i don't use a lot but it's it's still a very pretty color and so one very unique feature which i hope to show you and hopefully you can see it on camera it's a nice gray again we're gonna try to see if we can use water to assist it to flow yep this dispersion is great flow is great and this color has got the sparkly bits as it dries you will see it so i'm gonna see if i can show you from my sketchbook where you can see that it's, it's all the sparkly bits on paper as it dries and that's a unique uh, quality of this color it's a nice gray granulates and it sparkles ever so slightly under the sun or you know nice light let's see what daniel smith has to say about this color kyanite it's a rich blue gray with impressive granulation and it's dazzling it's got that nice glittery sparkle and it's it, its name comes from the greek word kyanos meaning blue dark blue enamel and it it's thought to promote serenity concentration mental clarity the shiny translucent gemstone used for jewelry and heat resistant ceramic and now a watercolor that will add amazing texture and visual excitement to your work yes it is a very nice gray next so i'm gonna now swatch uh, uh, garnet genuine which is not part of the blue series but i thought it would be a nice uh, complement so let's pick up some you can see after re-wetting it it's it's nice and easy to pick up it's really nice uh, strong reddish orange brown it's got great movement on paper and you can see it's starting to granulate so some particles are sinking and floating into the crevices of uh, my paper so what i'm using right now is not a hot press it's a cold press paper um, from most skin watercolor sketchbook and i like to use this sketchbook uh, for my testing and also for sketching as well because it, it has really nice you know uh, surface for some of these granulating colors to um, to settle and manifest so I've just shown you Sleeping Beauty, Blue Appetite, Kyanite Genuine, and the last one is Garnet Genuine. And let's see what Daniel Smith had to say about Garnet. So it's a generated birthstone. This primitive color is gorgeous, warm, reddish orange, similar to Queen Burnt Scarlet, but with more granular texture. All right, so later we will mix it with um, other colors to see how it reacts so i'm gonna just um, hold it up All right so that you can see the texture up close Let's do a bit of a 
Sleeping Beauty with a bit of blue appetite. So we can increase the granulation and also we can increase the, the depth and the body by just adding another color. Let's see if we can do Sleeping Beauty with Garnet. It's almost like a compliment. Wow. I'll add a little bit more Sleeping Beauty to the mix. So you see um, the mixing on paper just allows you to, to see both colours as they come together without losing its individual uh, character. Okay, a night. And we'll do the same gun and mix. Drop in some water. Drop in some water. And let's see if I'm gonna do a bit of uh, sketching to see how we incorporate it into our own work. So why don't we do a tube of paint? Sleeping Beauty. Garnet. I'm going to use Garnet quite thickly. Yep. And then Blue Appetite. So you can see the blue appetite, you know, turns quite dark with the, with that addition of the garnet. Gives you a nice rich brown. You can pull it up. And it create great texture as well. Just do one more with the Kyanite. Oh, this time I'll do something different. Let's go straight in. So remember Kyanite's got that nice sparkle. of garnet again if you like you can go in with the drawing tool It'll be our blue appetite. Touch our gannet. This thing. Now that the colors are fully dried, you can see the the difference. So today, I hope you enjoyed the demo of this uh, four colors from Daniel Smith: Sleeping Beauty, Turquoise, Blue Appetite, Kyanite, and Garnet Genuine. Have a great day and stay well. See you the next time.